Hey, hey, hey. Steve here with the next a la carte video. Oh, it feels like there's an earthquake here by the way the camera's shaking. Sorry about that. Uh, maybe I uh, need to eat a few less donuts, huh? So, hey, I uh, just wanted to uh, take a, t a, t a moment on this a la carte and just look at the various miscellaneous things that are going on with the trailer. So this is not going to be really long at all. I'll just kind of flit around the trailer really quick and just show you some of the miscellaneous things that are going on. And they're probably not that many of them. Just, you know, the, the, the fluff. So here you go. Some miscellaneous parts of the trailer. So one of the miscellaneous things on the trailer would just be that I, you know, mounted a hook and had, was able to have an air gun right here at the end of the trailer in order to be able to blow off tools and uh, to generally have air around the trailer if I'm working like on my bench. And also this magnet that holds my keys when I'm around the trailer and I don't want to carry or lose the keys. I can just throw them onto there and let the magnet hold them and of course I know exactly where they are. Yes. While we're here, miscellaneous thing number two. A uh, variety of magnets just holding things like a pair of, what are they called? Hemostats, actually. That's a hemostat that I had from the military back when I was over in Iraq. Uh, not that I would have used a hemostat that long uh, in order to clamp off a blood vessel because I was only a combat medic. I was not trained in surgery, but I ended up with a few medical tools. And then just a couple of magnets actually holding a long magnet. Okay, something else miscellaneous this is just a hook up there holding some electrical tape and an old chain from a set of dog tags where I only have a couple of P38s. I don't really know if they're called P38s, but those military can openers. And then up here above my drawer bank, I actually have, a, I think it's a Boston stitch or a Staples brand, yeah, Staples brand pencil sharpener. So that's really cool. And never throw away a bread tie. And uh, that's uh, the old uh, helmet band from my Kevlar. Turning around, if I were to go out of the trailer, I found this old, it's a Scott's paper towel holder. I found this in my basement 15, 16 years ago. It was all rusted up. And so I uh, sanded it all off and then painted it all up and now I actually have a paper towel holder in here. And of course, as I've shown in a few other videos, I love my magnets. And so just, you know, the ability to just, you know, kind of, I don't know, just put things around. I love magnets, they're, they're really handy. Um, using uh, magnets to basically hold a list. And right now I'm looking for cordless battery number six and 17. And I think one of them is on my router, which I loaned out. And I don't know where the other one is. So, you know, things like that. Notes to myself, shopping lists, and such. Looking down here, I simply have one of those uh, magnetic trays where I can throw, you know, screws or whatever. Nice way to hold something until I want to sort it. And because it really would just slide around, I went ahead and put a magnet so it holds itself. So it's magnetic and it holds itself to the magnet. So there you have that. Extra utility knife blades, easy to grab and go. Using magnets again. I have uh, just some driver bits that I have that actually never have fallen off as far as I'm aware and some grab and go parts as well just really utilizing these magnets and that's all they're held up with right there DeWalt kit just holds itself up and so that's really nice and handy magnets there of course and magnets holding a metal ruler. Speaking of magnets, I've got magnets all over the place holding parts for, you know, whatever variety of tools. For example, here is the, gu uh, the guide and some extra parts for the power planers. All things related to hammer drills. So with my air nailers, I tend to keep my manuals and I tend to keep pneumatic oil around in all of my cubbies where air, air tools are. There's more. And then there's one tipped over right there. Random thermometer, so I know what the temperature is inside of the trailer. One of those uh, sheet goods uh, as the carry assists. A couple of plumbing clamps, and then all of my remaining bungees all the way down. I use very few bungees these days, but there they are. No real place for my clamps, and so I just put my clamps wherever I can get to them. And so they live in the back of the trailer because they are out of the way, but yet handy to grab. And then I do have some of the spring squeeze clamps. Ended up with some extra coat hooks at one time. So I went ahead and put one there and I put one down here. And it turns out that this one actually became very handy to do just that, to hang the blower. And so the blower has lived there ever since. I also have an extra coat hanger 
right there for like a hoodie or something. I do have to do a little bit of relabeling, but up here I've been able to utilize the top of these cabinets by putting my drywall squares and my rock ripper up there, and also my tracks for the track saw, as well as, of course, the miter stand. At the very end of the trailer, just a, a brush for, you know, a quick grab and go, and that has actually come in very handy, uh, as well as just having an extra ready-to-grab push stick for the table saw. Thinking of the uh, extra track saw tracks, of which... I do have, for DeWalt, I have the 40 inch and I believe it's the 54 inch right there, so the short and the longer. And then I have the very long track right up here. And I wish I would have kept the box. I think repair, renovations and repairs kept the box and stores it in the box. I did not. So what I had was this space up here for long goods. This is 102 inches long. And then it's just held in by this ratcheting clip and I have five of them so I can actually get it off that I hook for an S hook to hang a tool belt. Here is how I utilize that I hook. So I have these very large S hooks of which I have an extra right there. And basically just uh, the ability to conveniently hang a tool belt. And in the front, I would hang either the carpenter or the electrical rig, depending on what I was doing. But I do find that that one moving forward that eye hook right there with the tool belt hanging down, that would actually then be very much in the way of trying to get to the rest of the trailer. So I don't really utilize that too much. Other than that, just trying to take advantage of space. That's a very long magnet in my tool garage. Uh, using a dowel to hold my saws. Using uh, various types of L or cup hooks in order to hold things. Like this particular bracket, which helps me hold on to all of my various tape measures, <laughs> like so, and of course the uh, the T-square holder, and really happy when I figured out these speed square holders, and so I created three of them, and it's very easy to grab and go, and this is what it looks like, and then to put it back. Well, there you have just a lot of miscellaneous components to the trailer that really don't fit into anywhere, but I might have mentioned them along the way as I was passing by them. But that's just some stuff, some stuff on the trailer, little things that really don't deserve a lot of attention until you just focus on them. Hey, hope you enjoyed this little bitty a la carte, a la, this little bitty a la carte deep dive into the miscellaneous. Have a good day.